This Shrewsbury Little League video will show coaches, parents, and other volunteers how to get a softball field ready for a game. All the supplies needed are stored in lockers next to the field. These are secured with padlocks, and each coach will be issued a key for the season. An exception to this is the Edgemere field. Supplies are located in the left side closet of the building behind the backstop, and the key is a different one from the lockers. Contact your commissioner if you need access for a game or practice. To open a tall locker, remove the padlock and twist the handle counterclockwise. Pull it open, then slide the top and bottom deadbolts to open the left side door. For the short lockers, remove the padlock from the opening on the right side. The first step in prepping the field is to remove any debris and smooth out the infield dirt. Each field will have a drag mat and an infield rake. Use the rake to loosen and smooth the dirt where it's uneven. Usually the batter's boxes in the pitcher circle will need the most attention. Then use the drag mat across the infield starting at the pitching rubber and moving out in a circular pattern. Now the batter's boxes are ready to be traced. Open up the metal template and position the handle to the side of home plate. Make sure the arrow on the orange sticker, shown here, points toward the pitcher circle. Use the spike on the end of the measuring string to trace the lines using the outside edge of the template. Flip the template to the other side and repeat. The next step is to get the line spreader ready. The line bags are stored in the short lockers. We have two different types of spreaders. The ones with metal hoppers have a lever at the top of three positions, off, two inch line, and a four inch line. The spreaders with the plastic hoppers have a bar that is off in the center position, move up for a two inch line, and down for a four inch line. Use the spreader at the 2 inch setting to mark the batter's box lines that were traced earlier. For a clean look, be sure to close and reopen the spreader for each line. To mark the first base foul line, start by placing the spike at the point in home plate. Then run the string along the diagonal edge of the plate and all the way to the outfield. Follow the string with the line spreader, putting down a 2 inch line from the batter's box to about a foot into the grass. The line should run between the white and orange parts of the safety base. Leaving the spike at home plate, walk the string across the field and repeat for the third base foul line. You may have to adjust the string a bit to be sure it runs along the edge of third base. Once again, follow the string from the batter's box into the outfield grass. Now for the pitcher's circle. Stand on the pitching rubber holding the rake out as far as possible, then turn in a circle to trace a mark. Put down a 4 inch line with the spreader. The installation of the bases varies by field. For Upper Dean, always position third and first bases using the pink spray paint marks on the fence. Position second base by sight, lining it up with the other bases. The maple field has small square anchors. Make sure that there is no excess dirt inside. Then place the orange layer down first, making sure it's level with the ground. Then place the white base on top. The other fields use larger square anchors. Remove the plugs in the excess dirt, then put the bases into position. 
When finished, be sure to put the plugs back in place to keep the dirt out and minimize a tripping hazard. The field is ready for use. If another group isn't using the field after you're finished, make sure that all the equipment is put away neatly and the lockers properly closed and padlocked. Lastly, notify your commissioner if lime is running low or if any equipment is missing or broken. Thanks for watching.